Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I thought it would be a good idea to do another how I style video specifically on dungarees because I see dungarees are very much on trend now. I've seen a lot of people wearing dungarees like in magazines, on television. It's all over my Instagram feed. So I thought to myself, I've got a pair of dungarees. I've got a bunch of stuff that I'd wear with my dungarees. So here we are. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that I would style with dungarees is an item of clothing that should be in everyone's wardrobe. Really simple. I've probably featured this particular item of clothing in like 10 different videos. As simple as it may be, the first thing I would style with dungarees is just a plain white t-shirt. Now, as I've said in millions of videos the plain white t-shirt is a very versatile item it's just one of those items of clothing that builds up the foundation of any wardrobe you can dress it up you can dress it down you can make it look vintage you can make it look modern there's just like a million and one different look this is basically a swiss army shirt but specifically a plain white t-shirt goes really well with the dungarees simply because it's just that classic dungaree look it just complements the dungarees really well the plain white t-shirt basically acts as a blank canvas so as simple as this look may be it's a traditional effect look. This particular shirt is a size large because I like my shirts to be a bit baggy and of course with a dungaree look the baggier the better the plain white t-shirt. And the second item of clothing that I would pair with the dungarees is just a plain grey sweater such as this one. This one's got a little hit of champion on it so it adds like a really nice subtle touch but any neutral grey sweater will work really well with the dungarees. Something with like subtle to no branding just because again just like the plain white t-shirt a neutral colour will suit the dungarees really really well. Again, I've probably featured this grey sweater in a number of different lookbooks and how I style videos. It's just because, again, it is a very versatile item. Cannot go wrong with it. Playing it safe a little bit, if I'm honest, but it just works really well. In my personal opinion, neutral colours will work best for dungarees. So your greys, your whites, your blacks, anything in the monochrome spectrum. Am I using that word right? Stick it with a pair of dungarees, you're golden. And the next item of clothing that I'd pair with the dungarees is a plaid shirt such as this one. You could experiment with different colors, but I really think that red contrasts the dungarees really, really well. This particular plaid shirt is the Palace Lumberjack. And I think this shirt suits the theme of the dungarees really well. Like the dungarees is more like a workman outfit and the plaid shirt you would associate with like that sort of working, like on a farm in a mill, something labor based. So this shirt and the dungarees would suit each other really, really well. The red contrast in the blue of the dungarees and of course with the added bonus with having palace on the back low-key stunting well that's that's not really low key, is it? But the lumberjack shirt, or any plaid shirt for that matter, just gives the whole outfit a really authentic feel. So, a plaid shirt. And the next look that I would have with the dungarees counts as two items of clothing. There's a little bit of layering involved. We have a supreme top with a print on it with a long sleeve under the shirt as our layering tool. The good thing about this look is that the undershirt has subtle hits of supreme on the sleeve just to like make it look different as it were. And of course, you've got your funky hentai design. Other designs are available, of course. Course. But I just thought layering the grey with the white was really nice. You've got two neutral colours in the same outfit, complementing the dungarees. And I just wanted to experiment a little bit. And I think this particular look worked really well. Funky hentai design on the front. Cool signature on the back. Hits on the sleeve. I was personally quite surprised with this outfit. I was experimenting. I didn't know what to expect, but I just thought this looked really good. Don't be afraid to layer. And the next thing that I would style with the dungarees is this stripy polo sport polo top. 
polo, polo, polo. Now, with this particular outfit, I was going for more of a vintage but smart look at the same time. So I thought the stripes would work with a vintage front and the collar and the slim cuffs would give it a more of a smart look. And I think both aspects of this polo top complemented the dungarees really well. I was a little bit skeptical about putting blue and blue together, but I think it worked just fine. This particular polo top is a size small. I normally wear mediums or larges. So the shirt gave me a little bit more of a fitted look, which was a nice change if I'm honest. So of course you've got your stripe, 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 stripes, subtle polo sport branding. And I thought the whole outfit came together really strong. And I'm also gonna be selling this on my Depop page at Rooks and Rival Jadana. And the next item that I would pair with the dungarees is just a gray hoodie such as this one. I got this from Sports Direct for like 20, 30 quid. I can't remember how much it was. Bought this hoodie especially for the dungarees ages ago. I got the idea to pair a hoodie with the dungarees from a Reggie Snow video. I put a little screen cap of that particular look there. But I just saw that look and I was just like, yes, are you mad? As soon as I saw the video, I was straight to Sports Direct, got the ting, paired the ting together. It looked really good. But again, with the same principles of the gray sweatshirt, the gray hoodie just complements the dungarees really well with just a neutral color. Subtle Nike branding on the breast here just to give it that added little like roadman feel, check out my dungarees, bruv. So pairing the hoodie with the dungarees just to give it that little bit more of a streetwear casual look. Absolutely love this look. Perfect for awesome winter time. Run down to Sports Direct and get yourself one of these hoodies. Get a pair of dungarees, that's it. It's over. And the last item of clothing that I would wear with the dungarees is this Ralph Lauren, sort of like an off-white cream shirt. Because I was thinking to myself, is there a way to dress up dungarees? And to my surprise, there was. I just thought pairing this shirt with the dungarees, it still has a casual look, but with a smart edge to it, if that makes sense. I just thought it was a really good combo. And that's what it's all about. You just have to experiment with your clothes, see what looks good. And sometimes you'll be pleasantly surprised, which I was with this. Again, sticking with the neutral colors with the dungarees, not as loud as a plaid shirt shirt but not as safe as a plain white t-shirt either and in my video at the start I did style this with a tobacco long coat I'm not particularly sure if that worked well or not let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below a smart off-white cream shirt and those are all the items of clothing that I would wear on the top end of the dungarees and now for the bottom end no innuendo bingo so there are a number of ways to style the dungarees at the bottom if you have dungarees like mine but they're like super baggy like the proper ones that you would actually work in when you wear them normally you will find that they're super baggy at the bottom just like a pair of worker jeans now there's a couple of things you can do you can either pin roll them as I like to do or you can cuff them you could probably roll them up all the way to three quarter lengths if you really wanted to but I would definitely do something with them unless you want to drag around the bottoms of your dungarees everywhere and now down to the sneakers so in my personal opinion I believe that it's down to personal preference what kind of sneakers you want to wear with your dungarees you can wear low tops high tops anything in between but for a traditional dungaree look you would wear something like Timberlands or something flak or weak colored and that's exactly what I did with Air Force Ones. I use Air Force Ones in my dungaree looks for one of two reasons. One is I don't have a pair of Tims and the second reason is it gives the outfit a little bit more of a streetwear look, maybe even making the outfit look a little bit more modern and that's all I have to say on the flax. Now low top wise I did wear a pair of Vans for these dungarees simply because I wanted to show off the pin roll and because I think black is a very good color to finish off the outfit of the dungarees. You've got like all these neutrals going on so you might as well keep it neutral all the way through unless you've got flax or Tims. Black white or grey are very good colours to top off your whole outfit completely. Maybe even wear these. I mean, why not? They've got all three in one. Kind of wish I wore these now. And that is how I would style dungarees. If you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see if more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion-based stuff, lifestyle-based stuff, and style-based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this webpage here. And that's everything. Yeah? Bye.